हॅलो एव्हरी वन माय सेल्फ लेक्चरर अदिती अनिल कुशारे मास्टर ऑफ फार्मसी इन क्वालिटी अशुरन्स टेक्निक्स नाऊ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द फार्मास्युटिक्स टू एक्सपेरिमेंट्स इन दॅट वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट इमल्शन इंट्रोडक्शन टू बायफेजिक लिक्विड डोसेज फॉर्म्स इमल्शन अँड इमल्शन इज अ हेट्रोजिनस सिस्टीम कन्सिस्टिंग ऑफ ऍटलिस्ट वन एमिसिबल लिक्विड dispersed in the form of droplets diameter that is 0.1 micrometer to 100 micrometer is called dispersed phase and the liquid in which the globules are dispersed is called continuous phase the two immiscible liquids cannot be dispersed for long period so an emulsifying agent having the peculiar structure in which one end is a hydrophilic and other is a lipophilic is used because of that it is possible for emulsifying agent to form a thin film at the interface and reduce the interfacial tension so let's see about the classification of emulsion that is the simple classification is oil in water o by w type and water in oil means w by o type in this oil in water o by w type we have oil is a internal phase while water acts as a acts as a external phase while in this water in oil type w means water which is a internal phase while oil is a external phase there are the tests to decide the type of emulsion there are total four tests that is the dye test dilution test conductivity test and fluorescence test so the emulsifying agents can be divided as follows the emulsifying agents are natural semi synthetic synthetic inorganic and alcohols so in natural there are two types vegetable source and animal source in vegetable we have gum acacia tragacanth agar pectin starch then erythro moss that is chondrus and animal source means wool fat egg yolk gelatin semi synthetic methyl cellulose sodium carboxy methyl cellulose that is sodium cmc synthetic anionic cationic non ionic which containing charges anionic means containing negative charge cationic positive charge non ionic that are chargeless inorganic milk of magnesia magnesium oxide magnesium trisilicate magnesium aluminum silicate and bentonite and the alcohols that is carbovaxes cholesterol lecithins then emulsions for oral mixture are made with naturally occurring gums as they are inert with the respective therapeutic agent acacia is the best emulsifying agent for extemporaneous preparation for oral emulsion and are the stable over a wide range of ph that is 2 to 10 but they are too sticky for external use the tragacanth increases the viscosity however it is not good emulsifying agent the monovalent soaps which form o by w that is oil in water type of emulsion means in which oil is a internal phase while water is acts as a external phase this o by w type of emulsion are not useful for oral mixture as they cause hemolysis preparation of emulsions the following methods are commonly used for the preparation of emulsions on a small scales that is dry gum method wet gum method bottle method and other methods first of all let's discuss about dry gum method in this first of all we have to measure the required quantity of oil in a dry measure and transfer it into a dry mortar then add the calculated quantity of gum acacia into it and triturate so as to form a uniform mixture then third one add required quantity of water and triturate vigorously till a clicking sound is produced and the product becomes white or nearly white due to the total internal reflection of light the emulsion produced at this stage is known as primary emulsion then fourth one add more of water with the trituration to produce the required volume then the following table shows the proportion of oil water and gum acacia required for different types of oils serial number type of the oil example ratio of oil as to water as to gum so first of all fixed oil example castor oil almond oil arachis oil cod liver oil the ratio of oil as to water as to gum is 4 as to 2 as to 1 second volatile oil that are turpentine oil pe- peppermint oil and cinnamon oil ratio of 
oil as to water as to gum is 2 as to 2 as to 1. Third one, mineral oil, liquid paraffin, ratio of oil as to water as to gum is 3 as to 2 as to 1. Then wet gum method, second method of preparation of emulsion is wet gum method. In this method, the proportion of oil as to water as to gum for preparing the primary emulsion is the same as given in the table. Calculate the quantity of oil, water and gum required for preparing the primary emulsion. Then powder the gum acacia in a mortar, add water and triturate it with gum as to form mucilage. Then third one, add the required quantity of oil in the small portion with the rapid trituration until a clicking sound is produced and the produce, it will become white or nearly white. At this stage, the emulsion is known as primary emulsion. Then fourth one, add more of water in small portion to the primary emulsion with the trituration to produce the required volume of uniform emulsion. And fifth one, transfer the emulsion to a bottle, cork it, label and submit. Then third one, bottle method. Bottle method is used for the preparation of emulsions of volatile and other non-viscous oils. This proportion of oil as to water as to gum is 2 as to 2 as to 1. Measure first one, measure the required quantity of the oil and the transfer into a large bottle. Add required quantity of powdered gum acacia. Then second one, shake the bottle vigorously until the oil and gum are mixed thoroughly. Third one, add the calculated amount of water all at once. Then fourth one, shake the mixture vigorously to form a primary emulsion. Fifth one, add more of water in a small portions with the constant agitation to produce the required volume. Then recommended container, screw, capped, plain bottles. Special labeling instructions are shake well before use as it is a liquid dosage form. Then NMRs, these are the solutions, suspensions or oil in water emulsions of medicaments intended for rectal administration. Container is a single use plastic pack with the rectal nozzle. So in next session we will see about the experiments. Experiment number 52. Title of this experiment is to prepare and submit emulsion for rectal use 10 ml. Proposition 1. Use of mucilage of starch as an emulsifying agent is restricted to preparations intended as enema. Learning objectives are to understand the use of starch as an emulsifying agent in the preparation of emulsions and ability to prepare and label the emulsion carefully. Apparatus required are measuring cylinder, glass rod, beaker. Factor calculated as quantity required upon quantity given is equal to 10 upon 300 that is equal to 0 0.033. So we have this prescription which is denoted by symbol Rx. This is given in the Latin terminologies. So we will discuss about the formula table type that is category, use or role of ingredient. Translation means the name of ingredient, quantity given in the imperial system for 300 ml, quantity given in the metric system for preparing 300 ml, quantity taken in metric system to prepare 10 ml, castor oil used as a laxative, quantity given in the imperial system is ounce SS, as we know 1 ounce is equal to 30 ml, so 30 into SS, if SS means we have to half the quantity, so 30 divided by 2 that is 15 ml, that is equal to 0.495 ml which is the required quantity to prepare up to 10 ml. This quantity should be calculated with the help of factor. Starch used as an emulsifier. Ounce II means 1 ounce is equal to 30. II that is 2. So 30 into 2 is 60 gram. That is the quantity given in the metric system. So to prepare 10 ml we have to take 1.98 gram. And water used as a vehicle add ounce X that is 30 into X means 10. 13 to 10 is 300 ml and we have to prepare quantity sufficient up to 10 ml. Direction to be used as directed by physician. Now we will move towards laboratory for performing actual experiment. So we have this is a castor oil which is a previously wet. This is a starch which is also previously wet and this is purified water. So first of all I am going to add this starch into this purified water. I am going to stir it properly. After stirring it properly, as starch does not dissolve in water, so we will move towards 
heating. So now I am going for heating this solution and after heating this starch will be dissolved into water. So now let's see after heating the starch is completely dissolved in this water. So I am going to add this castor oil into it and then again move for shaking. So after stirring it vigorously now we will move towards volume makeup. So I pour that solution from beaker into this measuring cylinder and make up the volume up to 10 ml. Now I am going to transfer it into this container and then we will proceed for next labeling part. So now let's move towards the labeling part. That is labeling of formulation enema. Emulsion for rectal use is also called as that is enema. Enema 10 ml. For ABC, that is the name of patient. Register number means XYZ number given in the register. Dispensed by PQR means name of pharmacist. Date. Manufacturing date is September 2020. Storage condition store in pool and dark place. Shake well before use to be used as directed by physician. These preparations should be warm before use. Manufactured by LML Pharmacy Pharmacy. Then result 10 ml of this enema is submitted in this umbrella glass bottle for inspection with special instruction on level as. Shake well 